Nicola Sturgeon's husband was last arrested on the 5th of April, and that was all about a caravan, and now he's been re-arrested. He's been taken into custody this morning, and uh, the police, Police Scotland, has said in a statement, a 59-year-old man has today been re-arrested in connection with the ongoing investigation into the funding and finances of the Scottish National Party. The man who has previously arrested as a suspect on the 5th of April, was taken into custody at 9.13am and is being questioned by Police Scotland detectives. The matter remains active for the purposes of the Contempt of Court Act 1981 and the public are therefore advised to exercise caution in discussing it on social media. So I suppose I won't. All I can say is that the issue was about a sum of money, uh, raised for Scottish independence campaigning, and this sum of money was apparently um, used elsewhere. Who knows? Who knows? What can we say? What can we not say? Uh, the money was raised since uh, 2017, specifically for a second independence referendum campaign, which hasn't taken place. And the, um, the, 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 this is part of uh, an, a campaign called Operation Branch Form that the uh, Police Scotland uh, started to conduct in June last year. And uh, Nicola Sturgeon's husband was first arrested um, at their home in Glasgow and he was interviewed under caution and held for about 12 hours before he was released without charge. There was a tent outside their house, if you remember, uh, as part of the investigation, and goodness knows what they were looking for. Um, and, the, and they also took away a camper van from outside the Fife home of Mr. Murrell's mother. And Colin Beatty, an MSP member who was the party's treasurer, was also arrested and questioned as part of that investigation. So why uh, Mr. Murrell has been re-arrested, goodness knows, and of course under the constraints of uh, Im imposed by the Scottish police, we can't really speculate that much. But we can say, you know, what a shame and uh, what a what a sad conclusion to, you know, what a sad end to such a glittering career as Nicola Sturgeon's. Nicola Sturgeon, who was such a vibrant figure in Scotland, in the uh, Scottish National Party, whether you liked her or you didn't like her, whether you accepted her policies or you didn't, she came across as such a vigorous, interesting character. And it's it's sad that this that, that, that her her resignation should be so peppered with allegations of crime and of suspicion and um, I, I, I'm sure it, it must be very difficult for her, and for the, and for the party, and for Scotland. It, it, it's not a good image.